What's up guys? It's been a minute. It's survivalist mindset back with another video. So where have I been? So this is just a little bit of an update video. Um, been moving, moved out of a communist blue state into a more red state. And with that, I got a lot of my stuff back. So new stuff definitely coming to the channel very soon. Uh, I got my own chest rig back, all my 30 rounders, all my steel mags, my Glock mags, right there. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Of course, I still got the Mossberg and all that, but I wanted to show you a project that I couldn't show you that I was working on. And well, now that I'm in a state that allows it, I can show you guys. So recently I bought a uh, 3D printer. Yeah, you know what that means. And so, it was just an Ender 3D printer. I got some PLA Plus, you know where this is going. And I want to manufacture a my own AR lower because I'm legally allowed to do so, or I should have been, but people love infringing on our rights. So I have it here today to show you guys. This is the Hoffman Tactical, I think version 3.1. Uh, no clue on that, but here it is. Has the hose clamp, screws up front, 100% infill, PLA plus. I've only run 20 rounds of Tula ammo through it, um, 223, some really dog shit ammo, but I ran it through it. So, yep, got it. Now I have the, uh, oops, <laughs> I have the A2 uh, grip on it. I did have a Magpul one that I had to saw down because these really, with the reinforced buffer tube, they really only allow these A2 and 3D printed ones, kind of like this. So yes, it's all sturdy. I'd love to take it apart and show you guys, but YouTube's a bunch of communists, so I can't show you the inner workings of it. But yeah, it's a regular PMAG, fully functional. It's of course clear at around in the mag, but there's no in the chamber. It's on safety, of course. Um, yeah, so I know what you're thinking, key mod. Ouch, yeah. Um, so this is a really old AR lower I had. Um, then I bought, I just recently got back my KR103, my AK, the chamber is 762 by 39. So not really upgrading my ARs anymore. These, This was my first ever AR upper. So yeah, it's Keymon. Um, believe me, Keymon's strong. I've seen it at the grocery store hold up 600 pound people when they're trying to reach the top shelf for a bag of chips. So yeah, but here it is. Just thought I'd show it off. Yes, the optic is a cheap optic I had laying around. Uh, my Spark, Vortex Spark died. I don't know if it corroded or what happened, but it just doesn't turn on anymore. So until I get some new glass for it, we have this, we have the Magpul flip ups. Yep. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So I just thought I'd show you guys, update you on what's going on really quick video probably gonna do some shooting content because now i can shoot and show you guys this in working function but yeah i want to shout out to hoffman tactical this is great ar lower printed out perfectly this was actually my first ever print very sharp sturdy no wobble in the buffer tube great 3d print um really loved it let me give you a close-up so yep i did a really shitty job spray painting it too but yeah, pretty clean. Really clean, came out. So lately I had to leave my uh, printer behind, couldn't fit it in the car that we drove in. So yeah, and I'm out of my retail job. So things are a little scary right now, but whatever. Just thought I'd update you guys. So yeah, here it is. It does accept, here's a uh, BCM mag, Bravo Company. It does accept steel mags. And then I do have a Dura mag here. I like steel mags. I get they dent a lot and they have other issues, but I do like them. Here's a Dura mag I spray painted. Um, that, that runs in it too. So all fits. Tension's good. Not really any wobble. P mags are really good for these. I think these were mostly designed around P mags, but those work very well. So yeah, just thought I should update you guys show you what's going on um 
Can't wait to do some more shooting content, all that. Left my tripod behind. So, yeah. Um, don't got a tripod. So, I need to buy one of those so I can actually upload, do some more tests with this. It's very sturdy. Has no wobble. Had no issue putting this together. Really easy to do this. No background check required. Pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's super easy. Uh, I had no 3D printing experience. I was able to just look up the file, download it, and then print it. Uh, so yeah, and if YouTube takes this down, they just take it down. Um, it's pretty easy. Just go to Hoffman Tactical's website and print your this. Now it does, like I said, reinforce rubber tube. So it does have the janky hose clamp and all that. If that's an eyesore for you, uh, don't get into the two 3D printed firearms because this adds so much more uh, durability to the gun. I don't know what you want to say. It just really dispenses the shock from the buffer tube very well. So, yeah. There it is. So, just thought I'd update you guys. Um, this was kind of my passion project. Really love doing this. Runs great. I would trust my life with, with a piece of plastic, basically. So, yeah. That's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Really quick update video, like I said. Gonna post more about my KR-103. I got my Glock 17 back. All my guns back. Super sweet. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a fun, fun ride. Definitely a lot more updates on this bad boy coming out. Might get a different upper for it when I have money, of course. Uh, YouTube, of course, is not profitable right now. We're still have a far ways to go. But I want to thank you guys so much for... 229 subscribers, a whole bunch of support on my shotgun video, um, my poverty loadout, and just the watch hours. You guys have been amazing. The comments have been great. Uh, it's been really nice seeing that in this time. So, yeah, there it is. Finally get to show you guys. I've been working on this for a bit. Wink, wink, somewhere I shouldn't have been doing it. Wink, wink, uh, totally in Minecraft. Wink, wink, ATF, don't be looking at this. But yeah, pretty cool. So I'll show you guys one last one. And yes, the bolt hold open does work very well. So yeah, ran fine. Ran only, like I said, 20 rounds for it. Definitely going to do some more. See these things hold up to more. So yeah. If you like this video, I get it. it's just an update. Not much happening. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, I love you guys. Thank you all for the support. Um, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.